Hello and welcome to an all new episode of The Current Bike Show here on NDTV. My name is Girish Karkera and we have an exciting lineup of cars for you today, starting with the busiest SUV segment. One of the stars of the segment has to be the MG Hector. Well, one of the first facelifts of the year, the Hector gets all new features and looks sort of different. We have Pratik Rakshit who got a chance to experience it. Let's see what he has to say. The Hector SUV was instrumental in establishing MG motor in the country. Since its arrival in 2019, the SUV has been well received in the market as an alternative to not just compact SUVs but also mid-size SUVs. Fast forward to 2023 and MG has upgraded their Hector SUV with refreshed styling elements to its exterior, to its interior and have loaded a whole lot of tech features that make it even more safer than before. But are these changes enough? Well, that's why we are here today with the car to sample it and tell you what has changed and does this new gen car make any sense. Well, most of the SUV buyers in India rate styling and looks of a car as the number one priority and MG has done absolutely that with the Hector facelift. So now at the front you get this large mesh grille laden with chrome and it looks absolutely gorgeous in flesh. The split DRL uh, headlamps are retained from the previous version as well as the LED fog lamps down below are also retained from the previous version. Now moving to the rear section of the car you get connecting strip is a very common feature if you look at the cars of today's day and age. Apart from that, the biggest change that you get at the back is the ADAS lettering on the tailgate. Like the exterior, the interior is also updated with massive upgrades to the cabin. But the biggest highlight that you get with the Hector facelift is this. Now with the previous model, MG gave a class leading 10 inch tablet kind of a screen with this version as well you get a 14 inch display that is quite smooth and apart from the added dimension it is full hd the new unit receives a bunch of controls and features yes it dominates the cabin but it never distracts or impairs your concentration when driving and of course it still performs multiple functions then there's MG Assistant, which works via a set of voice commands. Hello MG. I'm listening. Reduce temperature to 22 degrees. Temperature is set to 22 degrees Celsius. But the other change that we can look at at the Hector facelift is the light and dark treatment that the car gets. It looks more premium, it looks more upmarket. Having said that, the materials and plastics utilized throughout are still of the highest quality. The six-way adjustable front seats and air purifier are an extra bonus, as is the 360-degree camera. With the facelift, MG limited the number of engine options available. I wasn't a fan of the mild hybrid Hector, which is luckily no longer available. Instead. The SUV keeps the previous turbocharged petrol and diesel engines. Since there are no changes to the mechanics of the car, the driving mannerism also is retained from the earlier version. The issue of initial hesitance, turbo lag and extended rubber band effect from a deep footed acceleration persists. The way around this is measured throttle inputs that isn't too cautious nor too aggressive. The CVT unit has very little to complain about. 
Given the Hector's size, the body roll is quite evident and the steering needs more feedback especially at sharp bends. Despite this, the Hector performs admirably and easily meets all your city and highway demands. If the refreshed Hector has managed to impress you till now, wait till you see what more it has to offer. Now the other key element that you get with the Hector facelift is level 2 ADAS functionality. So with it you get uh, the MG Pilot which features lane keep assist, emergency braking and a whole lot of uh, safety features that you know enhances the, uh, the safety of the passengers inside the car. So let's check it out. So on the steering wheel you get a whole bunch of uh, buttons that you can select to you know turn on the ADAS functions. One is on the left side you get this MG pilot switch. So now it's on and now we've switched on the lane keep assist. Uh, next is a uh, cruise control there's an adaptive cruise control on it so what you can do is you can adjust the speed put it on a limit whatever speed that you want to keep it on and the car will keep on driving and what it also does is if it detects a car in front of you it will slow down it will wait momentarily for about two or three seconds and once it detects that the car in front of you has started moving on then that too will start driving. Apart from that, you also get lane departure warning. The automated turn indicators are without doubt a sensible feature, but it may easily become bothering as it reacts to practically any small change in direction that is more than 30 degrees. The MG Hector is a clear step up from its predecessor, not just in terms of the equipment but also of all the new features you get. And the fact that you can choose between petrol and diesel makes it even more lucrative. Throw in those compelling prices and the refreshed Hector comes out as a sensible purchase for anyone looking for beauty, brains and of course, muscle. After the Hector, it's time to take things up a notch. Let's talk about Hyundai Ioniq 5 the all-new SUV that was showcased at the recent Auto Expo. Now we all know that it is laden with tech and it has a range that can take you into city and back. Well, let's find out what Kingshuk Datta has to say after driving it. Without a doubt, it is the new flagship model from Hyundai, not only for India, but globally as well. And this is our first driving impression of the car in India. And the Ionic 5 has some solid pedigree too because it was crowned the World Car of the Year in 2022 edging out two other EVs in the Ford Mustang Mark E and the Kia EV6. But what made this car the best car in the world? Well, that is precisely what we intend to find out. Getting the numbers out of the way, the India spec Hyundai Ionic 5 is equipped with a 72.6 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack mounted between the front and rear axles. The car is rear wheel driven and the permanent magnet synchronous motor can churn out a maximum of 215 brake horsepower and a significant 350 newton meters of peak torque. The ARI certified range is of up to 631 kilometers, but the real world range should be around 450 to 470 kilometers. The battery on the Ionic 5 can be charged fully in 7 hours from an 11 kW AC charger. And if you do have access to a 50 kW DC charger, then it just takes about an hour to charge from 10 to 80%. As is the case with all electric vehicles, the Ionic 5 goes full sprint straight off the bat. Just sheer pull. That means the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint comes up in just 7.6 seconds. While it may not be sports car fast, but it is not far behind either. The car definitely impressed us with its ride quality and poise, especially on these narrow Goan roads. And yes, it tackled the odd pothole and speed breaker with nonchalant ease. That's a good thing. 
and uh, the talking point here is the right quality of the car which we want to be really plush so it will keep the occupants uh, in good comfort the other key usp on the ionic 5 is the boat load of technology that it offers the centerpiece of course is the two 12.3 inch screens one serving as an instrument cluster and the other as the touch screen for the infotainment system then there is an 8-speaker Bose audio system and Hyundai's Blue Link connected technology with over 60 features, having Alexa and Google Voice Assistant as standard. Plus, the interior is made of eco-friendly materials using eco-friendly processes that are kinder to the environment. The highly versatile eGMP or Electric Global Modular platform offers good seating comfort for 4-5 to five people in the Ionic 5. If you are out on a road trip with the Ionic 5 and you wish to use an electrical appliance uh, like a coffee maker or charge your laptop for that matter, well, that is possible too because of the V2L or vehicle to load technology. So the V2L technology offers up to 3.6 kilowatts of power. So you can use all these electrical appliances, charge your laptop and your mobile phone for that matter on the go. So that is there a nice added convenience. In terms of safety, Hyundai offers a bunch of active and passive safety features on the Ionic 5 which includes 6 airbags, disc brake on all 4 wheels and a variety of level 2 ADAS features. 21 to be exact. Other features include ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, dual zone fully automated climate control, ambient lighting, heated mirrors, wireless smartphone charging and so on. The silhouette of the car is very retro, very chic, but there are a few modern and futuristic bits as well, such as the cuts and creases on the car and the parametric pixel concept, which can be seen in the LED headlight and the alloy wheel design. And all these things put together make for a very modern yet retro futuristic design, which will age really, really well, in my opinion. The company is of the belief that India is ready for premium electric vehicles like the Ionic 5. The car itself offers great features and conveniences. It is really good to look at and offers more than decent performance and comfort. As an overall package, it scores really, really high. Welcome back to the Car and Bike Show. Now let's talk about a brand that is synonymous with speed, Porsche. Well, Porsche's latest in India is the 718 Cayman GT4 RS. Let's see what this two and a half crore worth of car is like. The 911 GT3 RS is the pinnacle of Porsche's motorsport division and has been for the longest time meant for those looking for skull-crushing acceleration. But the company also has the 718 Cayman in its uh, portfolio that is meant for excellent handling. But we've always felt that the car missed out on a few elements. Well, the engineers of Porsche have listened to us and brought to India that. The 718 Cayman GT4 RS. Porsche knows how to turn cars into track-worthy machines. They've done it in the past and the 718 GT4 RS is no different. With a GT3 derived 493 brake horsepower engine, it reaches up to 9000 RPM and possesses all the features needed in a race car. Renowned for its outstanding performance on the track, GT4 RS takes many lessons from its siblings and applies it to the road. Thanks to its RS treatment, the 718 provides even greater downforce. A protruding front wing, carbon fiber front fenders and brake cooling ducts on the hood always ensure that the car functions excellently. 
But what ultimately brings it together is the rear wing inspired by Porsche's race cars. Porsche has also added an air intake system from the GT3 to make the exhaust sound even more thrilling. A lower ride height of 30mm, a multi-adjustable front diffuser and fresh front spoiler lip with flow around side blades all give exact feedback as you power through corners or even make that 0 to 100 kmph sprint in a super quick 3.4 seconds. This Porsche in real life looks even more exotic than the Cayman. Its compact dimensions and stripped out cabin make it a great city car while still being a hardcore driver's car. So, before we end the show, let us sit in the lap of luxury. Let's talk about Bentley's latest in India. The British marquee has just launched the extended wheelbase Bentayga Azure. For an exorbitant price tag, of course, but what a car. Take a look. The Bentley Bentayga extended wheelbase version dressed in azure pack. This costs you 6.5 crore rupees and is the latest car from the Bentley brand. We've got Mr. Sanket Anand with us of Exclusive Motors to tell us more about the car. Hello, Mr. Sir. Yeah, hi. This is our new extended wheelbase. To start from the front, we have introduced a new grille into the car. For that specifically only for the extended wheelbase. Yeah, moving on to the sides now, we have on this particular car 22 inch wheels. There is option for a 21 as well. It comes in various finishes, customer can uh, choose to his requirement. Then if I talk about the exterior paint on this car, it has a dark sapphire uh, paint on this. There are seven exterior standard paints. Then there are optional uh, extended range uh, paints which are approximately 60. And moving on to the interiors now. This particular car has a two-tone interior. This is the linen main height. Imperial blue has a secondary height. Has a special open pore, dark stain veneer. Moving on to the interiors, you have 10.9 inch display screen here. This particular car is a Azure edition. So what all do you get with the Azure Edition? In Azure Edition, uh, you get a number of options as a standard on the car. For example, the Azure gives you a specially uh, quilting on the seats, on the door pads, which is only limited to the Azure Edition. It gives you a 22-inch wheel standard on the car in the Azure Edition. But, this is where the actual action is because with the extended wheelbase version, you also get extra space on the inside. It's all about the comfort at the rear. Like this particular car has a airline style reclining seats. Uh, we, we, it, uh, in this, you, you get 22 adjustments on the seats, a 40 degree recline. And with this, you also get uh, uh, a footrest on the passenger side. So these, these are part of the airline style reclining seats. Additional feature on the airline style uh, reclining seat is like a body uh, temperature monitor. Like if you press that uh, uh, option, then based on your body uh, temperature and humidity, the seats will adjust the temperature of the uh, 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 of your back. So another feature which they have added into the rear cabin is the uh, power door close buttons. Like uh, if you see, by press of a button, the doors will close. Well, that was all about the interior of the extended wheelbase version of the Bentayga. Now we will move to the heart of the car. Based on a V8 petrol engine, 
This is 542 brake horsepower, 770 Newton meter torque. It's based uh, has a twin turbo as well. So that's that's what you get on a Bentayga on a V8 engine. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for this week. If you want to reach out to us, please look for us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Look for Current Bike, C A R A N D B I K E. Until the next time, drive safely, ride patiently, and please follow traffic rules. Thanks for watching.